This has been a horrific ordeal for the young victims who were subjected to years of unimaginable abuse. Our thoughts are with them today and I hope this outcome can help them in moving forward. The levels of depravity shown in this case are extremely rare in Scotland and the courage of the victims was essential in securing this conviction. This was a long, complex and challenging investigation for a team of officers and staff who had to work through the most harrowing evidence to bring those responsible for these despicable crimes to justice. Well, a short time ago, our Scotland correspondent Connie Gillies gave us this update. Before we go any further, it's worth saying that what we are going to talk about over the course of the next number of minutes is serious sexual abuse involving a number of children here. So it's worth uh, warning uh, people of what we may be talking about. But this was a police conference here, a police press conference, talking about the evidence being horrific in this case, more than a thousand lines of inquiry, uh, and to use the phrase, like nothing we have seen before. Uh, the detective... Uh, who led this investigation talking about the painstaking work involved. And that is true because this is an investigation that has lasted a great number of years with crimes that lasted over a decade. We are talking here about a number of primary school aged children being subjected to the most disgusting of child sexual abuse, organised child sexual abuse in a drugs den in Glasgow. Uh, these were children who were plied with alcohol and cocaine uh, by these drug addicts who used and abused them for great numbers of a period of time. And the older children in this case were forced to abuse, sexually abuse, the, young, the youngest in uh, this case as well, paedophiles laughing and joking while those repeated and relentless attacks were carried out. Uh, there was also an attempted murder conviction here of four of the people who stood trial during this two-month uh, trial at the High Court in Glasgow. Four of them were convicted of attempted murder in those attacks. Uh, children were placed in microwaves, they were placed in ovens, they were placed in freezers and fridges, showing the scale of abuse that these people were uh, intent on carrying out. Uh, and in fact, there was testimony. The, these children had to go through uh, reliving the horrific experiences that they endured. And the court, the jury, was played uh, pre recorded evidence from those children where they believed that those who were carrying out the tax were witches and wizards. Um, the prosecution throughout this trial described the claims as monstrous and that is what was delivered by the jury today. The NSPCC describing this as one of the worst cases in the last number of decades, not just here in Scotland but right across the UK and the gang of seven will be sentenced in January.